water is nice and clear. Oh, it feels so good. Man, it feels good. It's a great way to start your day. Well, I enjoyed me a little bit of morning time out here at the beach just now. And I'm going to get on up here now and get the day started. Well, I'm going to have my little uh, morning shower outside right here and get my day started. So, here's to you. Yes, I love just taking an outdoor shower right here. Oh, that cold water feels so good. Ah, refreshing. It's a good life. Good morning, everybody. It is another day here building a house and we're actually making some pretty good progress momentum's about going again so right now we are forming and we're repurposing some old plywood some old forms and we're using it to duplicate and make another form so my mock's here working on that right now i'm kind of instructing him how to do it because he wasn't here in a part of the crew before when we were casting the concrete walls so he's he's not up to speed like the rest of them are. Yeah, you can go ahead and separate that. So I'm having to do a little learning curve with him so he can kind of get caught up on what's happening here. Let me show you a couple more things that are taking place. Inside in here, Joel's getting supports on the forms up here going around the beam. Uh, this is also repurposed forms that we used originally on the other side. So meanwhile, Ammon's over here forming. Uncle Malong's out here forming. And I mean, we are all out to the street here now. Because we need some room to work. I've got my truck moved away and all to be able to work here in the front. And say, you see what happened with my saw horses? Because this is how they like to work. So I guess you'll call those James's saw horses. <laughs> All right, while well, I'm climbing up here where the stairs will be, I'll show you what else is happening. So here we go, man. It is just looking awesome up here, isn't it? Look at all this, man. Everything you see decked like that is soon where there will be concrete floor. Over here, so continue and forming around. And, oh my goodness, I hit that. <laughs> This looks higher right here, Joel. It is. Oh, it's not down. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Because I can see it back there. Humped up. Uh, that's why I have him cutting now. I have him doing those right now. So it's coming on around. We are actually out of cocoa lumber. I have uh, Marvin ordering more right now we got plenty of the two by three but we need more two by two
Our roof is leaking. <laughs> See, they didn't know we had water storage on top of the house. Got them cleaning all that sawdust out of there. They sawed a bunch of lumber up here. Well, it's about midday, almost their lunch time, and they continue on getting forms done. Um, man, that's all it's about right now is forming, 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 and it is moving right along. We poured a little bit of concrete down low in these walls yesterday to get all the pipes sealed in and just use on the inside where all those pipes are protruding out some uh, scrap pieces of form board so we didn't have to cut, cut good long solid sheets with a bunch of holes inside of them so we got that and now we're ready to pull those small pieces on that inside off and put full size sheets just up above that and continue pouring up on those walls this wall that i'm talking about right over here it's going to have a window opening and an air conditioner opening uh, as well. I'm not going to put a split air on that room. I'm not going to spend the money for a split air on that room. Uh, a window unit will suffice. And it's going to be well up underneath this area here that is shaded and protected from the salt from the ocean. We noticed that if you can just even get to the opposite side away from where that salt mist sprays, that those things will last. On our old house over there, the air conditioner was on the back of the house going this way. It lasted and lasted and lasted. But the ones that was down on the side, man, they didn't last no time. So even just that little bit of difference makes a huge difference. But we're going to be working on those things, getting it all prepared. Let me show you a little bit of form work here. So this is the outside piece of the upper part of that wall. And then the overhang right up there uh, comes out from there. They're still getting it all sealed up now. There's a two by two that needs to go in place there. And then on the inside here on the opposite side as well, we've got it formed up there and up around the beam. The bolts come through the wall on the existing concrete wall that we've already poured. We use the same holes again, always the same set of holes. You reuse them in the wall till you're done. Put the bolts through, sandwich that. We're beginning over here on this side. I'm about to make the piece that goes across that end and they'll be moving in here and beginning to form the floor across into this room. They continue forming all around, all around the corner here as well. Step by step. All right, so we're gonna screw this piece on here. We wanna leave it down for the cocoa lumber here at the top. That goes around the beam. And then we have a piece of cocoa lumber right here too, so that, that should work right there. Screw it, screw it right there. Drop this sweet tape measure from the US right here. Lufkin Black Widow, 35 footer. And I like this tape, it's double ruled on back and front. And it has a super long reach out on it, I mean super long. And the further out it goes, the taper tape gets a really deep dish in it. Man, you can go way out far with this tape though with no problem at all. I mean, I, I just have it only part of the way right now and no no issues. You see that? I can hold it almost out completely flat. Look at that. So any of you guys that are builders, check that one out right there sometime. Lufkin Black Widow by Crescent. Man, I'm really liking this tape. It's kind of heavy, but good tape though.
You probably have to. Yeah, you want to get in behind those. Exactly. Just, yeah, just go there first. All right, let me get it. All right, so we got that one up there. We are about halfway down the side of the house now, and it is coming right along. Keep it in the center. Yeah. I'll record video. That's what I told him to do. Oversize that hole. You do not need this stuff exact. You need a lot of play so you can pull it off and you go to break it down. We always hit these with a piece of wood and never hammer because you'll mess up your threads there. We're just putting them there temporary right now. We still got to form the other side. All right, that'll, that'll work for right now. So we get the other one off. You got a marking for the next two form pieces. He'll get a mark. I'll cut them for him with the power saw because uh, they're, they're a little crazy with it and jumpy with it. <laughs> they went right back to the hand saw. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so that hold on wait you mark one here right now you need to mark another one yeah so measure again and that way I can cut them both when I get the saw out for me to work again so well, it is just about the end of another work day we're about 15 minutes away the guys are starting to pack up the tools and clean up and it's the end of another work week as well it is saturday evening uh the guys they have one day off they you know and that's what they want it's not me pushing them to work six days a week they want to work six days a week because they need the money but while i'm inside right now I want to uh, cover something that has also been um, a question that's come up numerous times in the comments. So let me show you here. Numerous times this came up about the charger that I'm using. Now y'all, you all already know, y'all, you all already know that I'm using Ryobi tools here. Um, this is my Ryobi charger and it is not a dual voltage. It is uh, North American voltage only. I'm sure it's probably be right here. We can see it very well Right there you see 120 volt 60 Hertz 50 watts right there See it is not a dual voltage So some of you thinking just because the outlet looks the same as in North America that does not matter So how I'm having to do it is being that we're running on 230 volts right here is I am running a step-down Transformer right here I've got a pretty good size one right here. See if it'll focus. I got a thousand watt one. It says thousand watts. I would not trust that. Uh, 60 cycles, 220 volts. When I say 230 volts here, the power is running more close to 230 volts. Output is 110 volt. So I'm running this uh, step down transformer and then I plug my batteries up here and charge them up. There you go. 
I have one other way that I'm charging my Ryobi batteries as well. I'm not sure if other brand tools, DeWalt's, Milwaukee's, you know, all these that are out there right now, if they have the same features, the same options. But let me show you another way that I'm able to charge my batteries here. So Ryobi sells this end vehicle charger right here. You see it's got the same ports, pretty good size unit. And it has a cigarette lighter plug right there. So this is a 12 volt. I'm sure it's right here somewhere, 12 volt, six amps. Being that I have two separate solar systems here. I have my main solar system. Then I have a small 12 volt solar system, which is running my solar well, my well pump there. Um, and I have that set up to run some landscaping lights that will eventually be in here. I haven't put them in yet because that'll be more finish up work when the house is about done. But being that I have a 12 volt system here, I have a, a port, a cigarette lighter port that I have a little set of alligator clips on. I clip it on to the batteries on my 12 volt system and plug that up and charge it as well. So I hope that helps you out and covers any questions that maybe you've had about that. And I appreciate the comments and questions on that. Keep them coming. If anybody else has any information you can put in the comments to help others. Feel free to share that information of um, what you're using, not what you're planning to use, but let's put a comment of what you have actually found that works. Uh, so look forward to hearing from you or look forward to reading those comments. Let's go outside and see what these guys got done. Melinda is paying them right now. It is payday. Pay me sucker. Yeah, that's the bookkeeper there, the manager. She keeps the time. She keeps up with the advances. Uh, who's missed? Who's crippled with a bad ankle? She keeps it all. Start out right here, coming around. They are almost to the corner here where they're forming. We made it almost to the back of the house. And we've got a lot of pieces pre-cut and ready to go up there. There's the boss. There's the supervisor. Excuse me, sir. I'll get out of your way, sir. <laughs> I love you, Dad. <laughs> so, uh, right down through here, we got all the forms in the front. And they got all, everything is formed. Pieces all pre cut, pre cut, pre cut, stored up here just getting all ready to go let's go look at it from above when i say saying pre-cut it's because once you find your rhythm of the sizes that these pieces need to be you know this piece on the form and then this piece on the form and then this piece on the form and those are going to be pretty much standard all the way around the house man you can just start ripping those down uh some of them you can find scrap you can rip some of the pieces out of you can measure out and find how the best you can get a cut out of your plywood on the whisk out of one piece and then we can go through and pre-cut a whole bunch of it then all we have to do is when we come to an opening or we come to like a cantilever beam, cantilever beam sticking out is just notching it around it and keep on going so uh, we're finally back in our stride of doing this forming here it's been a cool day um, in the evening but boy up midday it was hot and we were about to die working here it is coming around coming around coming around all this underneath me coming around and uh, all the way around up here as well this will be uh, mainly just to overhang the front but we wanted it strong enough that we could still walk on it if we need it to an emergency scape around or something and uh and be able to set plants as well if we want it to or something down through here you know and shade the wall as long as it's not uh nothing too big and in the way we'd be able to put something down through there and coming around down through here this is all in they know they left their tools up here and uh, here here we are and now we're working right there there's the tankzilla 
down there, just all inconspicuous now, and uh, not even thought about it anymore. Yep, so here it is coming along. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, keep those thumbs up coming. I appreciate that. Keep those comments coming. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm really excited for what all's happening here. Big moves are taking place. We got past this uh, first of the year, and we are in 2021 now. Isn't that exciting? And new things, new horizons every day bring something new in life. Never forget that. Take care. And we will see you all on the next one.